happened in that timeout that led to that? Um, just NBA stuff, just frustration. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Adam Sullen. Oh, you guys started off the game pretty crisp. What happened after about the middle of the first quarter? Uh, yeah, they the rebounds really hurt us. Their their offensive rebounding in the first half, they, we uh, got off to a good start, obviously, and then with good energy, and they took some of that away with their rebounding. Uh, and I believe they had eight rebounds in the uh, first half, and we had maybe 15 defensive rebounds. So they're getting one of every three balls, either putting them back or – uh, kicking them out to three-point shooters. The three-point shots hurt us in the first half. And, um, yeah, but we had it to three at, at halftime after a foul on a three-point shooter. And then right at the beginning of the third quarter, it went from three to ten right away, seven points. And then uh, it went downhill from there. Ali Kambajani. In that third quarter you just mentioned, was that more so just about the number of shots they were making and how much they scored early on that kind of um, you know, created, created what happened? Or was it just more so like you talked about the rebounding and everything else? Uh, yeah, the third quarter was their shot making for sure. A lot of it was our our uh, defense, but uh, but they were making shots. I mean, Rogier, or Graham, they were feeling it. Mark Berman. Steve, I don't know all those guys in that locker room are pros, but does the uncertainty of the trade deadline, which happens every year, does the uncertainty have any kind of an issue more so than maybe normal, you'd think, given this situation? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's possible, but I don't know. Understood. Thank you. Adam Spolin. There was so much positivity the other night. Does a game like this kind of put you back to where you were before Monday's game? No, <laughs> it doesn't. It's just a, just a loss. You know, we didn't play well, but it doesn't put us back to where we were with that long streak. Nope. Brian Bearfield. Coach, can you talk about um, – you talked earlier about the third quarter, but can you talk about on the offensive end what happened with the ball movement? Yeah, they were switching a bunch. Um, and uh, our screening angles weren't great to make it harder on the, against their switching. And that leads to uh, less ball movement, more isolations, less of um, kind of putting the defense in, in a bind. And they, uh, they did a good job with their switching and uh, switched and contained the basketball and made it hard on us.